Joe from Think Tank Photo. We're here in beautiful Tahoe to introduce our new Mindshift bag called the Backlight Elite 45. This bag is built mountain tough with superior fit and versatile access. Now at 45 liters of capacity, the Backlight is a really big pack and it'll hold a really big camera gear load. So we've got this set up for a great day of shooting. We have a grip with a 70 to 200 attached. Uh, it comes out really easily. Um, I've got two Pro Primes. I've got two Pro Zooms. My filter case down here and even a drone and its controller. And then uh, some extra pockets up here uh, for my cables and the other stuff that I cool. need. It also fits uh, 400 attached to a gripped body and then uh, even up to a 600 unattached. Right, and this is really nice because you can get complete access to your gear through this back panel. But the Elite will also allow you access from the top. You've got this uh, lid, this weather flap, and I've got some, some portables and cables here. My power block. Stored in the top, and then I can get to my camera. In this case, I've got the hood extended 7200 grip detached. The Elite's also a perfect bag for adventure filmmakers. So let's take a look at this setup we have right here. All right, I've got my sound right up top, and I've got a single-handed form factor a Ronin gimbal, and I can pull that out, attach my camera, I have my ND filters, my headphones, battery packs, I have a bunch of layers with all my batteries and every, every essential and tool that I need right at my fingertips. And uh, I can set up, break down, pack it up really quick. You know, you're always set up perfect in the beginning, and uh, things change when you're in the field, so I bring a few extra dividers with me, depending on how things go. Get it all in place, and throw the sound right. back in. And what's nice is this, this whole interior has features customizable dividers, so that you can reconfigure your bag. For still photography, you see it's a lot different from video, and it's so totally customizable to your kit. It's one really important thing in adventure photography and all day shoots, when you're in the outdoors and the mountains, is you need a lot of personal storage, right. so made sure to build this bag with a lot of extra pockets so you can you can bring your personal stuff so we'll start with the lid it's a floating lid we've got this nice deep pocket in the top we've got a first aid kit we've got my snacks easy to access easy to load with these pull tabs as well um, now you can flip it back to get to the the top pocket and just to show you too if you undo your your sr on that side you can also remove the lid altogether, and that way you can travel with the bag a little bit lighter if that's what you want to do. Right, okay. So here we have portable storage and power and cables, your essentials. Right. And then uh, this is important too. We have a, a laner that will take your keys or your, your card wallet, because you can't lose your card wallet. So we want to make sure that this was really secure. Yeah. So it's on a lanyard, in a zippered pocket, inside a zippered flap. If that's your car keys, you can't get home. You also are going to run into a lot of adverse conditions, and so we want to make sure that there is a really deep front pocket that you can put layers or a large puffy in. Right. Um, and then in addition to that, we've got a dedicated laptop compartment, so you can even fit a, a tablet, so you can carry both. You can choose which one you want to take with you when you're traveling, for example. Now, the laptop compartment also doubles as a bladder uh, storage. So it has a hanger, you can hook it in there, and uh, you can fit up to a three liter bladder. I can still fit my tablet in front. We know bladders can leak sometimes when they're old or whatever. We have drain holes on the bottom, so you don't have to even wow. worry about that. Yeah. What you have on your side is a waist belt pocket. Now, this way you can keep stuff out of your front pockets of your pants. So there's another place where you can do chapstick, keys, phone, all the stuff that you'd normally keep in your the your pants pocket. I have my multi-tool. You want to have it really accessible and right there. And then uh, both sides of the bag, we'll flip it around to see the front here. There are water bottle pockets on both sides. So you can get them in here, you can uh, tighten it down. And one trick that this bag has is when you tighten the top down, you can even put the cord over the top of the water bottle, mm -hmm. and then it's going to stay secure. You never have to worry about it. If your bag rolls, sometimes you're on slopes or something. Right. And that way, everything just stays contained within the bag. So we've gone through the photo compartment and all the personal carry and all the pockets, but I understand we can attach a lot more gear to this pack. That's right. So we have compression straps that go across the front. They're tuckaways, so you can pull this out. 
and we've got a tripod cup that pops down so you can mount a large tripod on the front. The top has a locking cam, so you wrap around the neck, it'll keep it secure so it doesn't bounce around and loosen over time. Now both sides of the bag also have compre compression straps, same thing, the top is an SR buckle with a locking cam. So you put poles, tripod on the side, and it's gonna keep things secure. You can see the compression strap down here. You can drop it in the pocket or on the outside. And uh, if you uh, need room for uh, poles, axes, mountain axes on the front, there's dual loops on the side. You can lock it down with bungees up here. And we also have what's called a floating lid. So this can loosen up. Uh, underneath here is a place where you can throw a large jacket, a rope, you can tighten it down, you can lock it into place, and then um, we have uh, extra loops on the top to lash even more items. That's pretty amazing. Let's take a look at some examples. So let me just show you a, a setup for like a still photography. Perfect. Be, uh, an outdoor photographer, a landscape photographer, what have you. So I've got my trekking poles attached using these attachment points, the bungee and the, the ice axe loops. I've got a nice tripod here uh, with the feet in the, in the tripod cup and the uh, you know this attachment point around the top nicely wrapped around so it's not going to move from side to side. And then just for example's sake, I've got another tripod here on the side where I've stuffed it down into the water bottle pocket, cinched up the compression straps, tightened it around the ball head. Again, nice and secure, it's not going to go anywhere. So let's see what you got in that pack over there. All right, so what we did here is uh, this is set up for an adventure photographer. Now, a lot of times going into the Alpine or the, the elements, you're gonna need to carry a lot of extra gear with you. So you're gonna need certain things like your, your climbing helmet for protection, a set of axes or a mountain axe. So here I'm using a dual. And I have anchors that can set up a static rope so I can drop down somewhere, get some shots on the side of a cliff, high angle thing. Um, I even have a monopod set up over on this, this side. Uh, this is an example of that floating lid we were talking about, where it pops up and you can secure things in there. Um, I wanted to show how important the access is, because even with all this gear, I can still access the entire photo compartment. I can get my rig set up, I can do my shot, and when I'm on the move, then I can get to the top compartment with my snacks, front pocket so I can layer up and down because you know conditions change constantly in the field and then of course the the hip pocket I can still get to with all my essentials wow, so an incredibly built pack I mean Joe really is an adventure videographer and he designed this bag based on his needs so it really works well good job all right so let's talk about protection materials are one of the most important things about the elite we did a lot of research and testing to make sure that we put the best materials on this bag for your all-day adventure. So on the front panels uh, and the top where you're going to take the brunt of, of weather or elements, uh, we put this special four-ply laminated sailcloth. So they're actually waterproof panels and then uh, adjacent to those are PU coated materials. Those are also waterproof. The rest of the bag is built with a high quality 420D nylon rip stop uh, with a DWR coating. That means the, the water is going to repel off of uh, the main part of the bag. Bottom features this TPU material, which is, you know, you can see it's fully weatherproof, fully waterproof. You can set this down in the snow and it's not going to get seep up water into your bag. Exactly. And then I really also like these yeah. Aqua Seal YKK zippers um, to keep the water from seeping in through the zippers or we use those zippers throughout. They're the best in the industry and they, we have these nice little ergonomic uh, T-zipper poles that you can use with gloved fingers, and they just have a really nice feel to them. They feel really solid. Exactly, so any exposed zipper on this bag is gonna have the, the PU uh, YKK zippers. And then, uh, you know, things get really bad in the field sometimes, so uh, we made this to, to work with you as long as you're shooting. Right. So we want this bag to work with you, uh, but when things get really bad and you need to, to wrap it up, then. We do include a fully seam sealed rain cover and we even thought through to, to color it brown. Uh, so for the wildlife photographers, you can cover your bag, put it down while you're shooting and it blends into the environment. Man, this harness system is super comfortable. Like I just feel like I'm not even really hot underneath it and it's just kind of 
nice and supportive. It feels great, I can wear it all day long. Right, so we designed this with a dual density foam, a honeycomb mesh, so it's got breathability, wide straps, so it really carries the load. Right. So it also has an aluminum frame in there, and load lifters off of that, so right. really. I tightened uh, those up real good. Exactly. Right. You probably noticed too, the back panel is a perforated high density foam uh -huh. that's ridged and it has a, a light mesh over it, so it's quick drying. Okay, cool. Yeah, and the waist belt, you know, it's nice and snug, just hugs my hips just perfectly, doesn't slide down or anything. Right, so in another feature with the waist belt is it's removable for travel purposes, but you can also make a fuel pack out of it with the lid. Okay. You can put it through because sometimes I need to be really mobile with a, a rig like this mm -hmm. and I just need the full freedom. And so I can still carry layers with me. And uh, then the fuel pack, I've got my spare batteries and even a full size water bottle. Okay. So we've got everything I need to walk around for however long I need before I need to get back to the pack and load it up again. Great design. Well, we're back here at the cabin after a great day of shooting, but we still have one more thing we want to show you. All right. So. The insert is removable. And what that does is creates two things. First is a travel mode. So we can take the waist bill off, we can take the lid off, and when you're going into the airport, that can trim down your bag, you know, for carry-on. But sometimes uh, airlines give you, you know, some tighter restrictions. So what we did is you can take the whole insert out. It's got these handles, which is helpful. And then it's got a cover. You zip this up, and then I've got a protective case with emergency straps. So that creates a really great travel pack that you can take with you on the plane, keep your, your lenses and, and bodies with you. MindShift also offers this new Stashmaster 13, which is a 13 liter photo travel cube, which integrates perfectly with the Elite. Now all you need to do is just insert that back in where the original insert was, and what that does is it creates much more personal space so that you can use this you know, for a longer carry into the field, go further in the field with a smaller camera kit. And that just shows you the versatility of this bag, how you can fit a half camera cube in, full camera cube, dividers, you can lay this out, personalize it however you want. Very versatile bag. Joe, thanks for joining me in introducing the Backlight Elite 45. It is the perfect addition to the Backlight family. And thank you for joining us. We'll see you in the backcountry. country.